Hello once again everyone. I'm back here again now with a different video. The video I'm gonna start doing now is what I'm called what sells on eBay. And as you've been seeing on my last few videos, I've been selling a lot of golf equipment. So I thought it would be fitting to go ahead and create uh, my next video series, which would be about stuff that sells on eBay, starting with golf equipment. What I want to start off first is just name out to you guys what five brands I believe are the best to resell on eBay because uh, they're the most popular and, and high in, in demand. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with showing you guys the logos of each one of them and in case you're not very familiar with golf or golf equipment. So you guys, so you know whenever you see this logo or name that you know you should look it up and see you know if it's worth anything. Now the first brand I have here already up is Titus. This is a great golf brand in general. Uh, they they do everything from golf, like golf balls, golf drivers, golf irons, everything, and they're a very very well known brand. So this is one brand to look at for. That's how the logo is. Very simple, like nice little cursive writing, and that that's a good one to keep an eye out for. The next one that I want to show you guys is TaylorMade. TaylorMade is another great golf brand. Uh, they were known for the drivers, as you see here. Uh, it says number one driver in golf. Uh, TaylorMade, their main logo looks like this, and also if you see it just on their bags, or just have a T like this, look a little T shape for their logo. But in general, TaylorMade is another great golf brand. Another one to keep an eye out for as well is Callaway, Callaway Golf. This is pretty easy because it says Callaway right on their name and it has a little V, it has a little V shape on their logo. So it's a very easy one to recognize. Um, Callaway is another great golf brand to keep a, a, an eye for. The next one I want to mention is going to be Ping Golf. This is another great golf brand. Um, this one is very simple. As you can see, it literally just says pink. That's it. And every once in a while, you will see this logo here. With, it looks like a little man logo here. I see this a lot on their putters. So this is a lot. You can keep an eye. Just remember this logo and the little man logo. It always, it always will say pink. So even if it only has a little man logo, it should say pink somewhere on the club itself. And the other, that's the fourth one. And the fifth one that I believe is a good one to always keep an eye out for is Nike Golf. You can't go wrong with Nike Golf. They're in general, they're good clubs, good drivers, good everything in general. Uh, but those are the five main ones that I want to let me mention to you guys to keep an eye out for. Again, Tylus, TaylorMade, Callaway, Ping, and Nike. Now, I do have two honorable mentions. Um, these are not as popular or in high in demand as these other five ones but they're still good good to look them up in general uh, next one is Cobra Cobra Goth it's pretty easy to to, to recognize it it says Cobra right on it and there's like a little snake with a little crown um, before they used to be called King Cobra but now they just dropped the King Cobra actually it looks like they brought it back now King Limited there but uh, Cobra is another good golf brand to keep in mind like I said, it's not as popular in demand. People, you know, they like the other ones better. But definitely, if you come across uh, some golf equipment with Cobra, definitely look that up because it'll still be a good buy. And the other one is Mizuno Golf. Mizuno Golf is another great uh, golf brand. Um, again, not as popular as other ones, but definitely just keep it in mind. Uh, whenever you come see, across this logo, just look it up, especially when it comes to irons and see what you come up with and it might be worth something so again those are the uh, five golf brands, actually it was seven so those are the ones to keep in mind whenever you come across anything when it comes to, to golf now there are some other brands I want to mention to you which are only specialized on one golf equipment and that's putters the other two to keep an eye out for when these are, these are for putters are Odyssey, Odyssey golf logos are, I'm sorry, Odyssey uh, putters are very popular, very high in demand. Uh, whenever you see it like this, it has like a little spiral looking thing and then Odyssey, this one right here, it's, it's a very good golf brand in general when, when it comes to, to putters. 
And the other one is here, is Scotty Cameron. This one is another good, uh, I'm trying to look at the logos here. Um, let's see here. Kind of looks like this. Sometimes it'll look like this. It has a, a little funky looking letters. And other times it'll look like this. So it's just Cameron on there. Uh, let's see if I can type in here logo. Let's see what we get here. There we go. So you'll find it different. You'll find it like this. You'll find it like this. Um, I've never seen it look like that on a putter. But normally you'll find it looking like this. Kind of a little funky setup of the logo. But Scotty Cameron is another good uh, golf putter to keep in mind. So, so Odyssey and Scotty Cameron are good putters to keep in mind. Uh, they don't make anything else, I believe. They just stick to putters. They stick to what they're good at. So those are the logos and everything to keep an eye out for when you're out there searching for or golf equipment. Uh, the best place to find golf equipment is garage sales, thrift stores, and even some flea markets. Uh, those are the main places where you go. You'll find golf equipment, um, older equipment, and I was I was don't look at the rack because any any type of thrift store you go to, uh, you always want to see there's always going to be a rack of golf stuff, and I was swing by there because you never know what you're going to find. Now. I want to mention here, and I'm here on Golf Galaxy. What I mentioned here is I want to mention the four type of equipment you want to keep an eye out for, and that is drivers, irons, putters, and golf bags. Now, again, if you're familiar with golf, then you know exactly what I'm talking about already. But if you're not, I go over them real fast. Uh, golf drivers are going to be the biggest clubs you're going to find. Uh, the heads of the drivers. Are, are, are very wide, usually around five to six inches across. And this is how they can look in general. Uh, here is a TaylorMade R15, which is one of their latest and greatest drivers. And whenever this loads up, still thinking. Now, when it comes to drivers, these are easy to recognize because. They're, they're going to be the biggest one, the biggest widest with a head. So whenever you find these, definitely uh, look them up, especially on those brands I mentioned to you. Like I say, if you if you were to find this at a garage sale or thrift store or anywhere like that, even the R11, which I have actually sold recently, uh, the R11 is also still a good brand. It's an older one, but still in demand. Um, you can see that it goes for various in price depending on what kind of features you get on it. And now they're all high tech and have all these little uh, gadgets here that go back and forth, you know, to help you with your golf swing. But um, in general, this is how they're gonna look. That's from the side view. They have a bigger, uh, nice face here to hit the ball. Uh, that's another view of it, and that's the top view. As you can see here, very wide in general. So those are very easy to recognize, and they're also gonna be your longest. Uh, club length. You should have up to anywhere between 46 to 48 inches long. So they're very long and very light. Um, they're not going to be very heavy at all. Uh, so golf drivers is one thing to always keep an eye for. The next thing is going to be golf irons. Iron sets. Um, you can sell them as sets or you can uh, or you can sell the iron itself. Um, irons, I mean honestly, Yes, you see them all the time. I mean, a lot of times they're just like a very low-end brand you'll find at thrift stores and garage shelves. But every once in a while, like you, other viewers should see me get, you will find some nice, some nice irons laying around. Um, irons are also very easy to recognize. Uh, they're usually a little heavier because they're still they come both with steel, uh, steel shaft and graphite. In other words, it's, it's a little lighter, um, and that's how they look in general. See the the head opening there, and it's just a, that's a video. But the easiest way to recognize or to look up a golf iron is just look at the name brand. It'll be anywhere somewhere around here, tailor made. Sometimes sometimes it'll be right here as well. And then whatever model number. This one, if you were to find this, you will look up tailor made RSI one and see what it goes out for, what it sells for on eBay. So golf irons, you can sell these individually, and you can sell these. As a set, if you find the whole set, and the whole set will range, uh, it depends how someone buys it. Let's see here, here it goes. So as you can see here, it goes all the way from from a four iron all the way. I'm not sure what the A is. 
Um, but this one's a pitching wedge, as a sand wedge. So it goes as a complete set. Usually it's going to be a starts with a four iron all the way to the pitching wedge or sand wedge. Or some clubs will go from four iron to nine iron because some don't come include the, do not include the pitching wedge or the sand wedge. And I'll get into wedges here in a little bit to see, so you can see what I'm talking about. But and other sets will also include the three iron. Every once in a while you will find three irons, sometimes even two irons, but a lot of golfers cannot hit two irons and, and three irons. Um, it's just they're hard to hit. So you, you won't find that a lot in, in golf sets. And I'm sorry, in iron sets. So you'll usually find four irons and five irons and going up. So those will be going up. So in ascending order, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you have your P, which means your pitching wedge, and then your sand wedge, and then your uh, gap wedge and all the other wedges that they have available. Now, uh, but it, it allows you to find something that starts with number four, number five, all the way up to nine. That will be considered a complete set because, like I said, a pitching wedge it doesn't always come included, or a sandwich doesn't always come included. So any iron set that starts with the four or five is good. If it has a three, even better. It just makes it you just have more clubs. But you can also sell them individually. Um, I sold one of a tailor-made brand, it was an R7 brand. I sold that one for I believe forty-five dollars, I believe, uh, with free shipping. So after shipping, it, it, I ended up making like thirty bucks or so on on that iron, which it cost me three dollars. So you can definitely make money on uh, just an iron by himself. So if you were to find this at, at a thrift store, just one club, the six iron, you can still probably sell this for fifty bucks. So you can still make money just on the one individual iron. But if you find the set, then you can definitely depend on a hundred bucks easily plus actually, because it all depends. Like this one goes for five twenty four new. So this one here in a couple of years, uh, if you were to find this at a thrift store, say in two years from now, I guarantee this tailor made set will still sell over two hundred dollars, probably even more than that, just uh, because popularity and tailor made is just a good brand. Um, those are your irons. The next one I want to talk about are your yeah, uh, let's see, putters. I mentioned putters. Now, all these brands make putters, every single one of them. As you see here, you got Nike, you have the Odyssey I mentioned, Sky Cameron, TaylorMade. Um, and I don't see, I don't think, also, apparently, Titus Callaway don't make them. So, but these are your, some of your major brands that make putters. Now, the ones you want to look out for always are Nike, Odyssey, Ping. And Scotty Cameron, uh, Taylor made you find them too, and the rest not so much. Top Fly, Cleveland, not really. I mean, never heard of that one. Uh, never heard of that either. I've never heard of this brand, but uh, again, I mean, you can always look it up. Um, now, when it comes to these, I think Odyssey. I find the, the last video you saw, I had a Odyssey putter. That's the probably the third one I've, I've found that I have to resell. So the Odyssey putters are very popular. And they sell very well. They can sell anywhere between sixty to one hundred bucks uh, used on eBay. And you see here, you're probably thinking, you know, these are selling for eighty bucks. These are selling for eighty, eighty. You know, these are new. So why would somebody pay, you know, eighty bucks or ninety for a, a used one? Uh, but these right here are your entry level putters. And unless you're a golfer, I mean, you, you know what that means. Um, it's just the way it feels, but as you get lower in here, as you can see, the price is going to jump suddenly. So you see here, you sit here at 80, 80, and then also you get down here, boom, it jumps up to 224, 224, uh, 179, 200, 200, uh, 200 across. So once you start getting to these, now you're talking about the big money ones, 200, 200. So definitely, when it comes to these, you got to look look it up by the brand because there's so many different brands I'm uh, sorry models not brands because um, there's so many different models so you definitely have to look up the model number like this one you will look up exactly Odyssey works versus two ball fame that's exactly what you type in in your phone and see what it sells for because again there's just so many different brand uh, models out there when it comes to Odyssey and actually that, that, that goes for every putter out there there's so many different models so, and the easy way to find the model, see if it shows it here. Uh, here doesn't show the model. It'll be actually underneath it. Uh, they don't have here. Let's see, maybe this one. Here it goes. So, 
underneath the model the 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 putter, if you flip it over, it will say the model number. It'll say Odyssey works, and way over here you can barely see the actual number. Uh, but you can definitely be able to look it up easily. It will always be in the bottom of the putter. And most of the time, these putters do come with head covers, uh, but it's not a high chance you'll find those at thrift stores and garage shows. And if, and maybe at a garage show, yes, because some, you're buying it from somebody. But at thrift stores, uh, it's almost rare if you ever find a head cover for a putter. But this is, and there's also another thing to keep in mind there's a lot of different models as well. There's lots of models, uh, different styles of putters. Uh, as you can see here, I mean, look at that one, this one, this one. You can see they're all very different. These right here, your traditional looking putters. They're just so many different style of putters. Um, the way you know it's, the, the, I mean, just keep an eye on these here, the way they look. Uh, you, you, you'll, you'll know that when you find a putter, it's unique because this, this, uh, this is their shapes in general. That's the traditional shape, uh, the fang. Uh, I forgot the college. The cost of this from the saber tooth. I mean, they got, they got different names and weird names for these. But whenever you find a putter, definitely look it up. Doesn't matter the model number. Uh, especially if connect, when you find Odyssey or Scotty Cameron. If you find a Scotty Cameron, uh, those are going to be your high end ones. Um, people will pay good money for those. Let's kind of show you here what the price is for Scotty. Um, see a lot of C press in the cart because I don't want to show you this one over here, 350 bucks. Look at that. Uh, this one here, 375, 350, 375, 375, 350. So these are very high end and desirable putters. If you come across this brand, Scotty Cameron, as a putter, I mean you you hit a good jackpot there I mean because most likely if you find this at a thrift store I highly doubt you pay more than maybe five ten bucks uh, if you go to a garage sale and you see someone selling his sky camera putter uh, definitely look up the model because as you can see brand new they go very high and you never know you might have a rare one you might have a very desirable putter there and definitely over a hundred probably two hundred bucks to resell, so I mean, I, I would go as high as even fifty dollars if I came across a Scotty Cameron putter at a garage show. I've never never come across one, but if I did, I'd be willing to pay up to fifty dollars for one if I knew that I can get a hundred, hundred and fifty, or even two hundred dollars on eBay. And I can guarantee you, also, probably in a matter of if not hours, days, if you price it right, that is. So that's right there. These are your putters. And the last thing I want to show you guys is bags, golf bags. The most popular ones are going to be your standing, standing carry bags. In general, they're going to look like this. Whenever you see them, um, they're going to have this little uh, two feet here that when you push it down, leaning forward, it's going to pop out the little stands legs and it will lean over just like that. Um, in general, the main brands to look out for when it comes to golf bags are going to be the main ones I gave you earlier, the, ma the major brands, which is Callaway, Pink, TaylorMade, Tylus, and Nike. Um, this one, uh, OGO, I mean, you can look it up, but I don't think it'll be uh, a good return. Um, definitely not a good return. No and no. So definitely just stick to the main five I mentioned for when it comes to golf bags. Um, even Cobra, even though it's not showing up here because they don't sell it, <laughs> but uh, even every once in a while you you come across a, co a Cobra bag as well. But I find a lot of TaylorMade's, I found Pings, I found Tylus, I found Nike. Uh, I think Callaway. Every brand I've mentioned to you, I've, I've found the bags. I've found them and sold them, both locally, like on Craigslist and on eBay. So golf bags are very good buys. The main thing to look for golf bags is you have to make sure all the zippers work, uh, make sure they don't get stuck. And if they do get stuck or they don't want to zip open for whatever reason, maybe they've been sitting in the garage for too long, go ahead and spray some WD-40 on the zipper itself. Uh, let it sit for a little bit and it should loosen up the zipper to go ahead and start zipping up and down once again. That's what I do when I come across a, a, a zipper that doesn't want to open or close anymore or maybe just stuck. Maybe it's been sitting in, in that same position for a very long time. Because a lot of times people will buy bags and then they'll buy a brand new bag. 
and they'll put the other one in the garage and don't touch it for a couple of years until they finally decide to donate it. So the some WD-40 works great. Uh, maybe some other type of oil or like maybe if you don't have that, you can try maybe some vegetable oil, maybe some baby oil, maybe that will work. But in general, WD-40 works great for that stuff. And just make sure that they have um, very light like scratches and, and dirt. Of course, they're going to have use because these go out, out on the course, on the backs. People throw these everywhere. They throw them on the grass. I mean, they're definitely going to have wear. So definitely don't expect to find a clean one. If you find a very, very clean one, uh, something like this, and it doesn't have like any markings, uh, that means that person probably bought it and immediately bought another bag and then never touched it again. Um, I have come, I have come across bags like that that are like super clean, and that just means the person bought a brand new bag or maybe they they won it on a raffle or who knows what, and they just you know decided to get rid of it. And I'm just going to show you here different color sets of these bags, some nice ones. So, like if if I find this bag like this, most likely we're going to find where it's all dirty and has a lot of marks as on the white spots. Anywhere it's white, you're going to see it's, it's going to be dirty. It's going to be very visible. If you can clean it up, try to clean it up with some soap and water, you know, maybe even the magic eraser and see if it comes off. But in general, just take good pictures and just mention your listing, hey, it does have uh, wear and use, you know, which is typical with, with the golf bag. And it, it shouldn't devalue the bag much because whoever gets the, whoever, whatever golfer buys it from you, uh, they know what kind of abuse bags take, so they'll take it from you. They'll buy it no matter what. If they really want, like the color, like in the course they have, a set of tires, for example, um, they're going to want the matching bag. So when it comes to bags, these are the most popular ones, which are your stand bags. And this one's a lightweight. Um, they, they have a lot of different um, weights. Uh, they have lightweight, ultra lightweight, uh, normal, and they go, they, they can weight anywhere between like three, pound, three pounds to like six pounds uh, for the light ones. And then they have special bags, which I've only come across one bag. That's the one I'm gonna show you here. Um, you probably find this more like on a garage sale or even thrift stores. And what they call it, they call it cart bags. And the reason why they call it cart bags is because um, you can see that they, they don't have a stand; they can't lean over. So these bags are made for you to tie into your cart. So when you go to the course, you tie it, wrap around, and tie it into your cart so it doesn't move. So these here. Like especially these these nice fancy ones by TaylorMade. Uh, these bags are are very popular. People like them. Um, you know, sometimes a lot of people have more than more than one bag, so they'll have their cart bag when they want to you know have one to show off, and then they'll have their other one, their carry bag, whenever they just want to go and practice real quick, you know, at the course. Uh, but these bags are real nice. Uh, you can tell these have like some are made of leather, some are just made of synthetic material, and they're, they're nice in general. I mean, you can the way you see it, you'll feel it. You can tell it's, it's good quality. And when you find them, a lot of these don't have models. They're just gonna have the, the model name, Taylor Made. So this one does have the L S L D R. So you can type Taylor Made uh, S L D R into eBay and see what what you come up with. But in general. What I do is when I come across a bag, I just type in the name brand, Taylor Made, blue, white, whatever. And this is, like I said, this is a cart bag. Uh, the other ones I showed you were a carry and a stand bag. So just type in the keywords like Taylor Made, cart bag, blue, or blue, white, and you'll come across and you start seeing similar ones and kind of get you an idea of what they sell for. So, guys, that's pretty much the main things here for what to look out for. Of course, you got golf balls, shoes, apparel, everything else. Um, if you come across some golf balls, brand new, still unopened, definitely pick them up, uh, especially if it's Nike or Titleist or Callaway golf balls. Uh, only if they're brand new. I mean, I've never had any luck or sold any used golf balls, <laughs> but if you come across someone's old set of golf balls that they never opened, uh, definitely buy them up. I mean, you can usually uh, sell golf ball balls for about 20 to 30 bucks on eBay if, if they're still new, like uh, the box. Because normally they'll cost around 30 to 40 at most stores. So if you can get them cheap, definitely get some golf balls. When it comes to golf shoes, uh, same thing. It just depends what you much much pay for it. If you get in there cheap at five dollars or less, 
sure why not if it's in good condition uh, the golf shoes um, the golf shoes have vary a lot I mean there's a lot of different brands when it comes to golf shoes um, and I mean just if you get them cheap like under 10 bucks or even under five bucks uh, definitely uh, look them up look up the model and see what you find uh, the main brands uh, when it comes to golf shoes you do have other brands that normally you won't find with the, the equipment we do have Adidas, Echo, Foot Joy, Nike, and Puma. Uh, when really it comes to golf shoes, people are, really, I guess, not as picky. And you can definitely, you know, if you come across, like, these look nice here. So if you come across some of these, just look up the model, especially if they look this nice. Just look them up, see what you find. And if it's going for a good price on eBay, why not? As long as you get into them cheap, you can definitely sell golf shoes as well. Uh, if you look in here in my list here. So... Another thing I wanted to mention to you as well was this here, if it comes up, at least I have open, here it goes. Another thing that I want to mention was this, whenever you come across a, a irons and drivers, um, you're going to see the name, this is going to have the, the, the model, the name of the, of the shaft itself, and you, a lot of times you're going to find uh, these letters on the shafts. Going to be going to be an X, an S, R, A, and an L, uh, and what that means is how flexible the shaft is or stiff the shaft is. And I just wanted to point that out real fast. Whenever you see, or it just says an L flex or an A flex or R flex, what it means. So whenever you see something, uh, a shaft that says L flex, it means ladies. A means senior flex. R is regular. S means stiff. And then if you find X, it's extra stiff. So Golfers definitely want to know that, so I definitely want to put that in your description uh, of what it is. It's, it's usually going to be somewhere on the shaft itself. You're always going to find it. So I was going to show um, exactly uh, where it's located. And let me see here. I can kind of see if I can kind of show you here what I mean, where you'll find it. I don't think there was a lot of good pictures here of these. Let's see the tailor-made rocket balls here. Trying to see here. Give me a second. Taking a while to load. All right. So what you'll find it will be this is a shaft right here. So definitely it will be like a way in the opposite side. I, I can see here they don't show the whole shaft here. So it will be uh, definitely on the opposite side near the grips. That's where you're gonna find the the model, the, the what, what kind of shaft they use, and uh, and what kind of flex it has. So definitely keep in mind for that, because golfers definitely want to know uh, what kind of flexibility the shaft is. And the other thing I was gonna show you guys real fast was just the type of wedges from earlier. Remember I mentioned that most golf um, iron sets don't come with a pitching wedge or a sand wedge or any of those wedges. Uh, this is showing you guys. Type different type of wedges, and like again, you probably guys are thinking they're you know, why so many wedges? I said the same thing when I played golf a lot. I only thing I used was a pitching wedge and a sand wedge because it's all the main things you need. Uh, but as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, four, ty four different types of wedges pitching wedge, gap wedge, sand wedge, and lob wedge. Uh, if you want to look more into this to see or read more about it, um, I recommend I got this at Golf Smiths. And just type in golf smith types of wedges, and you kind of come here and read it a little more if you want to find out more about them. But here, I like what I like showing is this because it shows you the different degrees of wedges. So whenever you come across a a um, an iron that it's just it doesn't have a, a letter or nothing, just a number, and then you know exactly what kind of wedge it is. So example, let me see here. Let's go to clubs. Let's go with wedges. Let me show you here what I mean. And let's say, for example, here we go. Like, let's go with the ping. So you can see here on um, this one, it shows a 60 on the club head. So if you if you were to find this at a thrift store, garage show, or or flea market, instead of you would be wondering, okay, what kind of club is this? Then you will know exactly where it says here 60. Those are degrees. So you come in here and it says 60. That's a lob wedge. 
So you know exactly what it is, and that's very important, uh, especially when you're trying to describe it on eBay and what kind of what kind of uh, wedge you're trying to sell. So a 60 degree will be a uh, lob wedge. Now you can select here. See here you have different what kind of wedge you want. So you want a 58. So picture's not going to update here, but say if you want a 58 degree one, then you know it's now a sand wedge. So uh, and in front you can pick any kind of one you want. Yep, so up to 52. And 52 is a uh, what? Gap wedge. So yeah. So now you guys know whatever number shows up here, if it's just a number, no letters, or I mean like a two digit number, anywhere between the numbers of 48 to 60, then you know, not, a lot of times you won't, you're not going to see these numbers. Uh, it's just going to see PW. PW is going to be a pitching wedge. Um, I've never seen where it says 46, 48. Um, well, actually, I take that back. I have seen that, but most common you're going to see is pitching the PW on the iron club itself. The rest of them, though, 50 and up, yeah, you will see the, the number, and you can come on here and just kind of see, okay, sandwich, I got a gap wedge or a lob wedge, and that's important to describe your what kind of wedge you have if you find one. And the last thing that you mentioned were woods and hybrids. Uh, fairway woods, if you come across these, they look like drivers. You can see here they kind of look the light, but only they're smaller. They're way, way smaller. Um, and these, again, they're light as well, but they'll be a whole lot smaller. These across are usually about, about three to four inches compared to a driver is up, up to like six inches across. But these are usually typically three to four inches across, and they're also lightweight. But same thing with these. When you come across a, a fairway wood, uh, just look up the model number. You look up the model number, um, you'll see what, what it's going for. You can make some good money with these as well. And the last one is hybrids. Hybrids are, well, like it says, it's kind of like a mixture between uh, a wood and an iron. Uh, these are popular with some people that, you know, need some extra help, you know, to get some distance. Or some golfers just like them in general, just to have there as an extra club in their bag. But these, you, they look almost like a, like a regular iron, and just the head's a little bigger, usually around two inches across. Uh, same thing with these. When you come across the major brands like Ping, Callaway, TaylorMade, uh, let's see what did you got here? Ping, Adams Golf. Adams Golf is another brand. Um, definitely just look them up and see what you got. I mean, you you might get a good price for these as well on on eBay. But as far as that, let me see. I got covered those two things already. And as far as that's concerned, guys, that's pretty much it. I was going to show the last thing here, just give, give you guys an idea of what to look out for, so you can see what sells. So I'm going down to used. All right, and as you see here the flex I mentioned earlier. Um, this is a lot of stuff you, people always look by what kind of flex they have. So if someone comes in and says, "I want a stiff flex." They're going to click on that, so definitely make sure you descript your description has all the right information because if not, your listing won't be viewed. Um, you can see here the major brands are uh, Callaway, Cobra, Nike, Ping, Telerman, and Titleist. Pretty much all the ones I mentioned. The other ones I don't see here, I, I didn't mention Adams Golf. Adams Golf is it's another okay brand. You can see it has the least amount of numbers compared to everyone else. Cobra is a pretty good number, 2000. Actually, Cobra has more than Nike. But Nike is just a major brand in general, and Cleveland is another good golf brand. Like I said I just, I mean, if you come across a Cleveland brand, um, you can also keep in mind that one as well. But I just wanted to show you guys, uh, was it the sold listings? Where is it here? Sold. Just gives the guy an idea here of what we got. So, so a lot of these are drivers. Other ones I had for here drivers. So you have an idea here, I mean, you can get some good money for some drivers. How much to sell for? Let me, let, me, let me be a little bit more specific here. I'm going to type in R11. Like this one is a popular one that you can come, you still can come across a lot. Um, a lot of golfers, they'll just upgrade to their driver and then, you know, sell this one off or something. But I've come across this driver myself. The R11, as you can see, it still fetches a nice premium, 100 bucks almost, 100, 150. Uh, that one gets 50. And when I do 
when I saw golf equipment, I always do uh, buy it now. I never do auctions. Um, I mean, you're, you don't want to do auctions for this. I mean, in my opinion, just do buy it now. And you just get the price that you want. So, see, 100, 100, 150, uh, 100, 20. Uh, this one went pretty cheap, 45. I don't got a good deal. So, 80. So, you can see it varies. So look at this one, it's the head only with no shaft at all, 75. So, as you can see, if you even if you find it, find one with no shaft, just the head only, you can see you can make, you can still make it some good money. Um, and this one, I think, is just a shaft, if I'm right. Let's see. Looks to be just a shaft. Here, go down. Yep, it's on the shaft. So, you, you, I wonder if it was, it was the same seller. I didn't see it. If it was the same seller who was sending the head only and the shaft. Uh, as you can see here, this is just saying the shaft only for 25 bucks. But I want to show you this. Um, so, here is what you'll be looking for when you find a driver. So, all this is, is the brand. So, this is an R11. This is the original stock, which was tailor, made by Taylor Made, Blur. Uh, Fuji Kura, which I think is the brand name, and this one you see it says Flex S. So if you guys remember what S means, S means S means stiff flex. So if you if you came across uh, this complete with the driver head and everything, and it says Flex S, you know now to describe it as stiff flex, uh, like it shows here. <laughs> so um, definitely, like I said, guys. Golf equipment are very, very good sellers in general, and I'm just not, this video has gone a little longer than I want already. But I just wanted to just give you guys pretty much in detail information as to what to look out for there when it comes to golf equipment. Again, the brands to look out for is Tireless, TaylorMade, Callaway, Ping, Nike, as well as Cobra, Mizuno, and I think here they made, what did they show up here earlier? Uh, I have to go back. I think they show Cleveland as well. And I forgot the other brand that was shown here on the side, but these are also good brands to keep in mind. Uh, again, guys, just kind of uh, familiarize yourself with the golf brands. Uh, if you don't play golf at all, and but you come across golf equipment all the time, definitely come into like Golf Galaxy or even uh, Golf Smith's website, and just come on here and just look at their what they sell drivers fairway woods hybrids iron sets wedges putters just familiarize yourself with how they look like that when you see them um, you can definitely jump on them real fast and, and see what you got because again I come across it almost well every day if you go to a thrift store you're gonna find them all the time but sometimes you'll find some like garage shells a whole set uh, some of you'll find in like an old old set but even older sets will still do good I mean, in general the price point that I like to stay under is for drivers. I don't like to pay more than twenty bucks, and that's only if it's a high-end brand a, a driver. For example, if it's a, uh, a tailor-made uh, Ping or Nike, uh, pretty much any of the five major brands I mentioned to you are, are good drivers in general. Uh, you can usually fetch anywhere between, depending on condition, between sixty to one hundred bucks. Uh, if you weigh it out, I mean, you'll get to hundred dollars. If it's a very high in demand driver that's still in production, then definitely you get way more than hundred bucks. So keep in mind, drivers, just try to stay under twenty bucks, unless you know for a fact that you can get a hundred plus for it. Then yeah, I'll say go as, as high as fifty because they're very easy to ship. Uh, the next thing is for putters. Same thing for putters. I like to stay under twenty bucks as well for putters. Uh, the last one I bought. Um, on my last video, you saw I, I paid 15 for it. So when it comes to putters, same thing. You don't pay too much for putters, uh, especially if you find them used. Uh, putters, same thing. It depends on the brand. Uh, but look at the brand. And putters, you can get same range, anywhere between 50 to $100. Uh, for a more in-demand uh, putter, you're definitely going to find... Uh, you're going to find that... Let's see here. Let's type in Odyssey. Odyssey. So this is one that... And we recently, so you see here, like these putters here. There's one model of the brands here. It's 66, 59, 60 bucks. So it just depends. 80 bucks, 90 bucks. So it just depends. Gives you an idea of, I mean, putters. If you get into them cheap, under 20 bucks, you're still gonna make some good money on, on putters as well. And 
the other ones for bags when it comes to golf bags uh, definitely definitely try to stay under let's see here go golf bag here um, golf bags let's see here so when it comes to golf bags definitely try to stay under 20 bucks as well because when it comes to used golf bags um, you're gonna It'll be a wide range there's a nice looking color there and when it comes to use I mean you're gonna come across so many different models uh, that it, it really it comes down to just you know what people are looking for look at this one Tommy armor uh, it's nice it was one of those nice cart bags for 200 bucks that's nice so uh, same thing when it comes to golf bags. Like I said, you're not gonna find a lot of model numbers unless there's an actual model on the bag itself. But just look at the, the brand, and then just try to describe it as best as possible, and you should get a good price for here. So this one, Callaway Golf, is a nice older golf bag, uh, 130 bucks. That's a nice one there. Um, so definitely golf bags are another great buy. Uh, here's another golf brand that's uh, they're, they're okay in general, but if someone does have the the iron set. Then I can see they want the matching bag. I went for 135 bucks. Ping bag, 120. Uh, these are older bags. These are low carry bags. Here's another Tylus bag here for 60. Here's one of those real nice uh, Tylus bags, uh, the, the, those cart bags for 115. So definitely, when it comes to bags, try to stay under 20, 25 bucks if you really have to pay a little more on them, especially for a bag like this, a real nicer one. Like for this example. If I was to find this at a thrift store, I would definitely go as high as 40 bucks if that's what they were asking for it. Because uh, just a nice golf bag, especially if it's clean, um, and you definitely gonna double up your money. And when it comes to shipping this stuff, guys, um, it's very easy, honestly. When it comes to these bags, these golf bags, uh, most box stores will have golf boxes. Uh, the, the average size is 12, 12 by 12 by 36 that you'll find. Um, other ones will have 12 by 12 by I think 40 or 12 by 12 by 48 for the real tall ones. So, golf boxes should range you about five bucks. You shouldn't be able to pay more for uh for especially for a uh, a bag uh, for that on that size. It'll cost you probably between four to five bucks at a box store. Uh, when it comes to the drivers, the irons, and the putters, same thing. You're gonna look for the four by four by 36 for a putter or an iron, or a four by four by 48. I believe it goes high. And then for drivers, you need something a little wider, like a six by six. Usually, will fit drivers in general. And again, those boxes should range anywhere between three to five bucks. It just, it just depends on your box store. Uh, you should have one nearby. I mean, I mean, you call around, Google it, see if you can find a box store nearby, and just ask to see what do they have available when it comes to uh, to boxes for golf, to sell to sell golf irons and boxes and everything. So. Again, uh, in the shipping, on average, I mean, for drivers, and they're so light, it'll be anywhere between 10 to 15 bucks, depending on where it's going. Uh, irons and putters, same thing. If it's an individual iron, same thing, anywhere between 10 to 15 bucks. Uh, if you have a whole iron set, the whole thing, an iron set will probably, depending on the weight, it can go as high as 20, 25. So definitely, it'll be, probably be a FedEx shipping. And when it comes to the bags like these, uh, for the bags, Honestly, it, it can range anywhere depending on where it's going. Uh, if it's going across, you know, the U.S. from where you're located, it'll cost you as much as 20, 25 bucks a ship, or probably or more depending uh, how much it weighs. Uh, but if it's going just, you know, a couple miles or the next state over, then it'll cost you less than 15, 10. I mean, probably 15 bucks to ship. So just depends where you're located. Now, if you like doing free shipping like I do, um, then you kind of put that into your cost. If you don't, if you like charging shipping, then just definitely go ahead and, and uh, put in calculated shipping or however you want to calculate your own shipping like that and just have an idea how much it's going to cost you ahead of time. But guys, that's that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I went almost 45 minutes, so definitely way over the more than I wanted. But again, there's a lot of stuff in golf, and you can make a lot of good money when it comes to golf equipment. Again, drivers, irons, putters, bags. Uh, the wedges, woods, everything, and in between when it comes to iron equipment, I mean, you can make good money on it. As long as you get into it cheap, you can definitely make some good money. And another great thing about golf equipment, like all the stuff I mentioned, is they sell fast. If you price it right, it will sell quickly. I mean, every single time.
if you price super high, then no, expect for it to sit for a while until the right buyer comes along that wants this exact color scheme or something. But if you move, if you price yourself to move quickly, trust me, it will sell fast and it'll move. Like this one here it says it trends eighty-seven dollars. This type of bag, but they sold it for sixty bucks. So this person wanted the money quickly, so they charge sixty bucks. You know, they got their money, they're done. So guys, once again, thanks for watching. I hope this video was help helpful for you guys, especially for the ones that don't have a, or don't play golf at all or didn't know much about golf. I hope that this video helped you out like that you know what brands to look out for now and just what to keep in mind and just in general I always remember now when you go to a thrift store garage show and you see golf equipment definitely walk over there see if it's one of the major brands I mentioned if it is definitely look it up because you might have uh, a nice flip there in front of you um, again guys thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks